Hello, welcome to Science with Morgan. So today we're going to be doing two experiments using um, capillary action. So the first one is called uh, paper chromatography. And the things that you'll need is any amount of coffee filters, Crayola markers, um, pen a pencil or something sharp that will stab through your uh, coffee filter without like destroying the whole thing, scissors, water, and like clear jars. So the first thing that you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to take your coffee filter and you're gonna wanna cut a strip out of it. You're gonna want a like a strip going from the top to the bottom. You don't want it to be too big and you and um and make sure it will fit through your jar. Mine's a little bit too big. So then what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to take your uh, coffee, your piece of your coffee filter and about like an inch up it, you're going to want to make um, a marker line. It doesn't matter how thick it is. It just, you don't want it at the end of your paper, but also you don't want it too far up. So then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your jar and you're going to want to fill it up um, like an inch or less, kind of where you're, like just to touch the bottom of your um, your coffee filter. Then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take your sharp item and you just wanna stab it through near the top. Then you wanna place it in your jar and you wanna make sure that the ink doesn't touch the water because then it will move, it will ruin the experiment because it won't work the same. So what what happens is uh, using capillary action, it allows the water to move upwards and it makes the ink spread upwards. And you want to use Crayola markers because, um, because Crayola, to save some money, they actually use other colors from the rainbow. Um, to use darker colors. So you could use brown, black, purple also would work. Just any darker color. Um, so as you watch your, um, your experiment, you'll see as the ink is moving upwards with the water. And another way that capillary action is used is like with plants. When it rains down, the water sinks into uh, the dirt and then the roots help the water it travels up small little tubes to get to the plant to make it sprout and keep growing because without that then the plant would just die so if you're using a darker color you'll see as it spreads up also if you don't have any like Crayola markers at your house you can also use rubbing alcohol and you can use sharpies with that um and so mine, I used a black Crayola marker and it's spreading upwards and mine is actually like a blue. And so it, it takes a little bit of time, but it doesn't take too long. It also matters where you put your ink because if you put it, if it gets in the water, then it won't move up. But if you put it too far up, then it still will work, but it will take the water a bit longer to get to the top. Okay, I don't know what to say. So I'm back. We waited a little bit of time and mine is actually moving upwards and it's there's a lot of blue, but if you look near the bottom, you can see that there's a bit of purple in it. And yeah, it depends on what color you'll use. For the different colors you use, it will end up being different um, colors that are spreading upwards. So that's it for this experiment. Okay, now we're back with our other ingredients for our next experiment. So this one, um, do you remember when I was talking about last time, when I was talking about how plants, that's how they get like their water throughout themselves to like help them grow. Um, that's basically what this experiment is. So the first thing that you'll need is food coloring. You can use 
any color color that's darker because you want it to show up. Um, yellow wouldn't be as good as other colors because it's a lighter color. You're going to need a flower or celery would work. And it also works better if um, it has leaves on it. That's how you can see it better. And also, you want to cut off the bottom a little bit so it just helps the water go through it faster. You're going to need something to set it in. And then you're going to want, um, like, water. So then the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take the container that you're using and you're just going to add um, some water into it. It doesn't matter how much you add. It just uh, matters that it's not full to like the top. You don't need too much for this experiment to work. So and then you're going to need any uh, color food coloring. I'm going to be using blue because it's a darker color so it will show up a lot better. So you're just going to add like three or four drops into your um, water and you just wanna mix that in. And if it's really dark, it's uh, perfectly fine because it's, um, because it's gonna help it show up better. So then you're gonna wanna just add in your celery. This experiment will take a couple days, um, but it will come up and it will actually show in the leaves because if you remember what I said earlier, I was talking about how when it rains outside, it, the water goes into the soil and then the water in the soil it, with the roots, it helps it move upwards to the top of the plant. So this is kind of what's happening. So um, the, the there's the water at the bottom and it's gonna start moving upwards um, into the, like the top into the stems. So this experiment will take like um, around a week for you to see it like really well and to tell what is happening. And you can use um, any type of flower, like a white one, a yellow one would also work. So I'm using um, celery because it's a water-based vegetable and it will suck up the water at the bottom faster actually because celery is made mostly of water. So when it's so used to sucking up so much water that it will help it go faster. And then also, since you're cutting a bit of the bottom off, it will help it go throughout it better because then you're kind of cutting open to the tubes that help the water move upwards in it. So then that will um, like make the experiment just go faster with it. So since this experiment will take a couple days, I will show pictures of the progress that happens with the celery. In this picture of the celery, you can see how there's a little bit of a blue tint to the leaves. This is because capillary reaction allowed the blue water to travel up through the celery. I'll be back with more science experiments another time. Bye!